everyone. What's up guys? This is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's topic, I'm going to teach you how to set up your mechanical project. Alright? So let's get started. So this video is for the, uh, this time is for the mechanical guys. Alright, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the mechanical template that is available in Revit once you installed it. You can actually select this one but uh, just in case so it would be better if we are on the same um, template that we're going to use because some of you might have their own template uh, loaded in this one. So for us to be able to have uh, the same template that we are working on so let us try to select here the new icon and then after that from the browse here so I'm going to select here the mechanical default metric all right so I'm going to select this template and then I select here open okay so just select okay to create a new project okay so this is now our uh, new project so what we're going to do so let's say for example the architect is already finished with their uh, project with their architecture project so you just need to ask them to send you the file and then we need this architectural file for us to be able to link our or their architectural model in our project okay so after they gave us the architectural model the next thing that we're going to do now is to link that project so to do that I'm going to select here the link uh, the insert tab and then there's the link Revit okay and then after that from my exercise file so let's say you, you can use any architectural model okay so I'll just use the architectural model here and then I'll just make sure that positioning is selected as uh, auto origin to origin so I select here open okay so after your architectural model has been uh, placed in your project so let us do some uh, adjustments here so this is my model here the west elevation so I just use window selection let me just place it here okay let me just suggest my elevation all right and then after you place your architectural model it would be better if you select your link model and then you pin it so that you are not going to you will not be able to move it accidentally all right so you just pin that and another thing since we are going to place a space in our mechanical model so what i want you to do since this is a link model the the next thing that we're going to do you select the link model and then after that from the properties you go to the edit type here you just click that and then make sure the room bounding here is checked okay if you are not going to check the room bounding you will not be able to place the space properly inside your project okay since we are using a link model so make sure room bounding is selected so that it will enable us for us to be able to place the space correctly all right so hopefully you can understand what i'm talking about so you just need to check this one and then after that i just need to select okay all right so after that the next thing that we are going to do is um we are now going to create our uh, space okay so we are now going to place our oh uh, let's say before the space let us create first the levels okay so this is our architectural model so we need to check how many levels does this architectural model has because by default since we use the uh, mechanical template by default we only have two levels Okay, that's why you only have here level 1, level 2. So if I'm going to open the south elevation here, so you will notice by default, I only have here two levels, right? But yeah, our architectural model has until parapet level. So we are going to follow the number of levels of our architectural model. 
okay so i'm going to click now my level here and then i click this one i'll just need to adjust this one okay so this is the level of our mechanical template so we need to follow the level of our architectural okay so that is the practice okay so we need to follow that so what i'm going to do i'm going to move my level align you can use the move command or you can also use the align command so in my case i'm going to use the align command so it's the align select your reference and then select the element that you want to align there you go no need for you to lock it then after that i just need to select here modify all right to deselect the object now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create the levels from my level three four five and then the roof it's being overlapped by the parapet so we, that is the level that we are going to create no need for us to create the parapet here okay uh, if you want to create the top of footing it's up to you but in this exercise i'll just create the three four five six level okay so to do that so what you can do is you can just create another level you can use the level command this one ll or you can use the create similar tool how to do that so i'm going to click this level and then right click there's a, this an option here create similar so i'm going to select create similar okay and then it will now lets you to create your level so for this one i'm going to use here from the draw panel i'm going to use the peak lines tool okay and then after that make sure make plan view is check here so that every time you create your level it will also create your floor plan view that's why it's checked if you just want to create a reference level without a floor plan you can just uncheck this one all right now another thing is from the plan view types just select that one instead of selecting the structural plan let us just select only the ceiling plan and floor plan okay we do not want to create a structural plan okay then i'll just need to select here okay there you go so we are now ready so uh, since i use the peak lines option make sure the offset is set to zero okay so i'm going to select level three okay level four so little by little you are creating the uh, level don't worry later on we're going to add the bubble so level five and then this one there you go okay and then after that you see that small circle there so i'm just going to drag that just like this one there you go okay so it's now aligned to uh to the level one level two and then i just select modify again now i'm going to place the bubble so to do that i just need to select just need to check this one select 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 this one select this one all right so if this is your roof there's the roof so you just need to change this to roof i just click this one and then i just change that to roof. just click outside yes so if you select yes level six here will also change to roof yes there you go now another thing that we need to change here okay after we create the levels so we also need to modify our project browser so we need to tidy up our project browser so as you can see there is a question mark here okay let us change first our level here so we did let us just call this level one so i just right click this one rename okay i'll just call this uh level one level one i just select okay this one is our level two okay so level two okay where else this one uh level one ceiling no need to put the mac let's say i don't want to show the mac here okay uh, let me just add this level one level one 
this one is level one also oops so level two ceiling sorry and then as you can see these four levels here if I'm going to select one of the level and then check the property you will notice that the sub discipline here is empty that's the reason why you are having a question mark this is sub discipline right HVAC plumbing so this is sub discipline so the reason why the sub discipline here is a uh, question mark it's because if you select any one of these uh, views if you check the property you will notice that the sub discipline here is uh, blank okay so that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this okay I click and hold the shift until the roof and then I'll change the property okay I'm going to change this to HBAC okay and then I apply if I go back to my project browser so it will now be placed on my ceiling plan so it's now tidy up right so I just need to add here ceiling All right so dash ceiling so make sure you always tidy up your uh, project browser okay ceiling uh, would you like to rename corresponding levels and views no need we just need to change this one we do not want to change the level name okay so I just select no okay so I'll just add here ceiling no need ceiling no need okay all right there you go so it's now tidy up okay so I'm not going to create my plumbing so I just want to have my mechanical so probably I'll just delete this one all right so this is my mechanical things now the next thing that I'm going to do so I'll open my level one so this is my level one okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create now my space okay so I'm going to create now the space so to do that from the analyze tab okay where is that from the analyze tab you can see here the space we need the space because if you're going to do the heating and cooling loads calculation if you want to create the analytical model of your project so you need to add space all right so space it places analytical spaces to account for the for the entire volume within the model so this includes uh, rooms plenums and chases okay so we need the space for the uh, heating and cooling load calculation so for uh, the analytical model of our project so this is very important in mechanical okay so I'm going to select the space here okay and there you go so as you move your pointer you will notice if the architecture uh, creates our model nicely so you'll be able to place the spaces here correctly all right okay you can place it one by one or you can select here place spaces automatically and aside from that if you're going to check out your options bar here you will notice I am at level one the upper limit here is level one so let's say oh I want to place the space from level one to level two so I'm going to change this to level 2 so let's say I do not want to have an offset of 4,000 so I'll just make it 0 just like that so meaning to say the space that I'm going to place will be until a uh, level 2 so from level 1 to level 2 okay without the uh, offset distance okay so let's say I'm going to place one here I'll just click there you go okay so let's say I'm going to place it here there you go okay or just like what I have said I can select here place spaces automatically so I'm going to select this one there you go okay so I just select here close the only problem here is okay you will notice some parts of our model here oh there are space already okay 
so automatically so no problem at all so we just place all the spaces so what I'm going to do next is if I'm going to click now the space here and then check the properties okay so this is the property of the space if I'm going to move it down you will notice that the architect already created the room name exam and for example the room number is 103 so we need to change this also based on the room name and room number this should be the room name let's say this is 1000 1003 and then this is exam okay and then I apply so you need to change it like that but Instead of doing that manually, so you just need to modify the family, the space tag, this one. So I'm going to select the tag, and then after that, I select edit family. So I select edit family, okay, and then from here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select this one, and then I'm going to edit the label. This is my space tag family, so I'm going to select this label, I'm going to edit. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for I'm going to look for my uh, room name and then I'm going to add it and then OK. OK, same with this one. So I select this one, edit label. So I'm going to select this and remove. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to add the room number, this one and then OK. There you go. So let me just try to drag it like this. Okay. Then after I modify the space tag, so I'm now going to load this inside the project. And then I'll try to override it. Override. Boom. Okay. There you go. So it's now renamed based on our architectural model. So the only problem is that here, okay, if our architect place some rooms, it includes also the uh, plenums so we do not want this uh, spaces here so we are going to delete this one okay so this we do not need these spaces now for us to be able to delete that so you need to create a space schedule okay so you need to create a space uh, space schedule so from there we are going to uh, modify or delete these unnecessary spaces okay so to do that from my project browser, I'm going to create a schedule here. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'll create a new schedule. There you go. So there's a schedule. So we just need to select here the category that we want. So I want to create here a space schedule. So I'm going to select the spaces here. So that is the name of my schedule. And then after that, I select here OK. So make sure new construction is selected schedule building components just need to select and then change this to room uh, room name add and room number okay there you go okay so now it appears sorry about that so what i'm going to do next let us try to modify this i'm going to filter this one uh no i'm going to sort it I'm going to sort it by the room name and then I select here OK there you go so these spaces here we are we can now remove this one we can now delete okay so we can now delete this so you can delete here a column or you can also delete rows all right so I'm going to select this I'll just delete this one this will delete the 15 selected spaces and any associated space tags. Okay, so I'll just select OK. Okay, there you go. So if I'm going to open the project browser, go back to level 1. As you can see, that's how you set it. Okay, so hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, so you can give this video a like and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich. Have a nice day. Thanks.